Hey guys, my name is Sam and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're on GTA and I'm going to be showing you this this guide on how you can make a ton of money this week with CEO crates because they are double money right now. So you're definitely going to want to take advantage of that while you can. Um, so first I'm going to show you how to get into a solo public lobby. So I just joined a public lobby just straight from the menu. And then I went to, on Xbox, I went to settings and then I went to network network settings then I went over to test NAT type I showed you this in my other tutorial but if you didn't watch it then I'll show you now and when you see game ready for GTA 5 on the bottom of the screen you just hold that and then you should see that everyone has left your session so this this way you just you can run your crates without any interference from other players and it's just it's so much more chill and peaceful so one of the things you're definitely gonna need for this Oh, obviously you're going to need uh, an office and um, at least I recommend two warehouses to maximize your profit because that way you can switch in between the two warehouses when you're um, sourcing crates. But um, a terabyte and an oppressor mark II are definitely useful. So uh, with the terabyte, what I'm doing right here is I'm parking it in between my two warehouses like you just saw. Um, one I have in West Vine, one, one down by the beach. And so now I'm going into my like the pack of the, the terabyte and I'm going up to this touch screen and from this touch screen you can source your special cargo um, always buy three crates because most of the time it's just gonna be in one single vehicle and you know there there are times where, where you know you'll get the mission where you will have to throw flares in this location then a plane will come over and, and drop them one by one but that's that's not the majority of the missions which is really nice um, in my last tutorial I said to buy two two crates every time but that that's just not worth it for the time to money ratio um, yeah that's that's basically it um, so once you source your crate you just hop on your oppressor mark two and you can fly over these missions take about five minutes five to ten minutes usually um, it depends if you get like like I said, the individual crates where you have to pick them up and then fly back to your warehouse and then go back and pick the other one up, you know. Those ones take a little longer, but when it's just, most of the time, you'll just get one vehicle. So right here, I was pulling up on the docks on the on where I thought the car was, and um, I saw this first van. I was like, okay, there's nothing in there. I went to the second van. I was like, okay, nothing in there. So I went to fly back to the other, the other two um, van locations, they were driving around, and um, I just noticed that there was one close, closer to me, on this highway just over the bridge. So I flew down to that, and I realized that the crates were in there. So I was like, "Okay, sweet." And um, I was just trying to look for a spot where I could get out and shoot the guy uh, out of the driver's seat. And uh, it had a little, little uh, mishap right here. I tried to, you know, figure out where he was going, but I couldn't. And then I finally figured out he was turning. So I just sped ahead and then I just hopped off the bike and I took some shots at him. I'm going to speed this next part up because I'm just driving back to my warehouse. It was, it was such a simple mission. Like I just, I, gr I got in the van and I just drove back to my warehouse and it, it took, you know, little time at all. Um, but that's, that's the best thing with this because they're, they're super chill missions, but eventually once you get um so basically when you 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 source your three crates each um each time for your warehouse you're going to do it three times in total for each warehouse so you're going to alternate between your warehouses so you'll, you'll source for one warehouse then the next time when that one warehouse you just sourced for is on cooldown you'll go to your next warehouse so basically you alternate between the two while the cooldown is still active and that way you can just maximize your money making ability so right here, I'm just pulling up. I hit that right there, but it's not a problem. I just backed up and went on. And then I arrived at my warehouse down here. This is just a small warehouse. You don't need anything. You could have both small warehouses and you'll have no problem. This one was super easy as well. Um, it said a third party seized the pickup. So all I did was fly over, I got out, shot the guy out of the, the driver's side. I just took the van and I drove away. Um, some uh, enemies came after me here, but there were no no problem because they couldn't really catch catch me. And 
what's great about this this van in particular is that there's there's windows in the back so it can't shoot you out of it a little trouble with this suv guy but other than that like this these missions are so easy and it's incredible uh basically that's all i wanted to show you guys today every time you get to nine crates in each warehouse just sell it it'll guarantee you one vehicle and it'll be so much easier